Hey everybody, welcome back down to the Dry Dock. Another edition of TJF Friday Night Follies. Episode 1 of the USS Missouri Circuit 1991 by Tamiya. Um, in this episode we work on the hull. Getting it all sanded up, getting it primed up, getting it painted, putting it together. Um, one of the things that I wish kids do now that they don't and they used to is actually tell you what the name of the parts are. If you aren't a battleship aficionado, um, if you can't recognize what a part is just by looking at it and you compare that to both sets of instructions such as um, my detail upset instructions for the what PE you add to what parts and where they go if they are not completely in sync as far as okay step one in the um, um, kit instructions is the same as is the same as the step one in the detail upset and it's kind of a fishing expedition and a big old crossword puzzle <laughs> not that it can't be overcome not that I'm not getting it but it would make it a lot easier if they were in sync and the kit would tell you what the name of the part is so when you go over to the detail upset find a part and this is what you gotta do um, there's stuff that goes on the deck itself that I see there's PE that goes on but it doesn't necessarily tell you to replace anything on the decks per se so or it's just an added but all things need to be worked out and I'll get there um, as you will see, I um, I like the color, the red color of the sh of the hull. It um, it's not what like I mentioned in the video. It's not what um, Tamiya calls out, but I think it looks really nice. So instead of me bumping my gums, let's turn this thing around and let's show you what we got. Okay, best place to start a model it's from the beginning, right? Well, that's up to you, but that's where I'm starting. So, first up, as you can see, we got the hull. Um, I'm not sure I'm doing this little aspect of it with the bolts. Um, I like doing it with the blocking underneath as though she's in dry dock, interestingly. And so I don't think I will do this part. Um, we got our hull red, our bootstripe. Are two screws and props, two rudders. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward. Um, so I've got it out. I'll give you a look at it here shortly. I've been sanding on it, and um, I'll show you where we're at. Let's do that next. Okay, step one is the hull, and as a perspective, is how big this thing is. I'm standing up and I'm holding this camera above my head to get the whole thing in. So I'll take you down. I started standing on it. So I'll take you down and show you where we're at. Okay. Here's where I st I'm up to on sanding. And you can see this little guy right here is kind of a pain. You can feel a little bit of a nub there. I'll have to keep sanding on him but got most of it out there's a little bit of a lip on here so it's kind of like one side is just a tad bit higher than the other at least it was in the front maybe not so much back here then you can see you got a seam that runs down both um, rudder stanchions if you if that's what you want to call them how close you can well, you can see that. There it is. That's got to be sanded off. Nice thing is, let's see if I can show it. There's a boot line, top and bottom. You can kind of see the top right there. 
I bought them right there. So, masking this off should be pretty easy. I do see that I'm um, going to have to drill those out. They did drill that out, so that's nice. But, all in all, it's pretty good. Not a lot of... I don't see hardly any flash on it whatsoever. So... So we'll cut off the... Um, finish sanding this off, and we'll cut off the um, other parts on the sprues, get the props. I'm using the um, kit props instead of the detail upset because I did not get them with my detail upset. Which is no big deal because the kit props are pretty good anyway. Pay them gold, set them underneath, good to go. So, I'll finish sanding this up and then we'll come back. Alright, um, at the stern of the ship where the um, rudders and props and everything are, here's your um, shaft ports. This one's simulated. These two ports right here are for the rudders. And as you can see, they're not all the way through. So you have to drill those out nice and neatly. Um, now the two props that go here, they don't give you a shaft for. Now if you're good at lining them up and you're steady and you can see level and square and all that happy stuff, um, you can just glue those right on. Or if you want to, you could drill out, they already have holes in them, so then you could drill these out and put some styrene rod or some copper rod or some kind of rod and um, glue them on that way but for, for me I think I'm just gonna glue try to glue these on nice and neatly so um, the other thing I did was I glued on that guy and the um, word, word Missouri goes decal goes right above it so then we have to drill out the anchor chain portholes. So here is the uh, finished sanded bottom. You can see a, a slight line where the um, seam was. And those goofy things, you can't feel them, but they still show up. But yeah. She's ready for primer and paint. All right, we'll do that next. Okay, here's all our parts, minus one that I've already glued on the hull. Um, I will show you the underside of the finished hull here in a second. But shafts, props, straightforward. Uh, one of the things I did, I don't know how well you can see it or not, but if you compare this line here to this line here, I took my uh, scribe and I um, carved that deeper. Um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward there. So now, the uh, last thing I did was, obviously you can see the uh, rudders are in, and I might have talked about this before when I was on the, working on the Arizona. But there's something called perfect plastic putty. This stuff. And it's not as, for lack of a better term, solid as like, you know, the, t the Tamiya putty. But what it does do is it allows you to squeeze a little bit of it into a, a cup. It allows you to add water and then mix it up real good so it's dissolved and you can stick it in one of these syringes which you can get on Amazon and they have three different size holes in them and it works great for filling gaps especially small gaps bigger gaps it's you know takes a little extra applying and I use a hairdryer to dry it but what it does as you can see it fills in the little gaps around where the um, supports for the shaft connect to the ship, the hull. And the other thing is, is you can take 
once you get it on there you can take a regular q-tip or one of these and wet it and you can just kind of roll it over and smooth it out so just a little tip for the day um, I think we're ready to prime this thing I am hoping because that hull uh, bootstripe line is very faint I'm hoping that I don't lose it <laughs> when I uh, prime it but we'll give it a shot and see what happens well she's primed um, the lines are there but man are they hard to see I know sometimes you can take like a paper towel and stuff and kind of buff the the paint. Maybe it'll show up better. But it turned out pretty good. Now you can see where the putty filled in those gaps it looks pretty good. So next step, try to mask it off and um paint the red then the bootstripe if I can find it <laughs> all right we'll work on that next okay just in case you're interested these are the colors I used on the ship for the hull um, right to left you got the Tamiya 87042 for the primer if you want to prime it um, now granted if you don't prime it the styrene's a little darker color so the uh, hull color will be a little probably a little darker um, then we got Vallejo flat red and sky gray for the main body of the ship and I just use the plain old flat black for the bootstrap just a little information for you all right moving on okay side view here we'll give you a pass by now for whatever reason and you'll see more when I got it flipped upside down this red that's getting close but this red really doesn't is shows way darker on camera I wouldn't say way darker but darker on camera than it is in, re, in reality I don't know if tipping it up no not really but yeah all right, I'll give you a front and a rear view, and then we'll flip her over. A little front view. A little rear view. Okay, bottom side. I really like this color. Sometimes you have to go out, off book from what you research and what the uh, model kit calls out and go with what you like and what you think looks good. Um, the camera does not give uh, the color justice. It's not that as dark as it appears on here. So I will put a picture above it here and you can compare and contrast for yourself. So yeah this probably should be it for this episode all right let's take it back up oh that's a start <laughs> um i'm not going to put every paint that's called out on the tamia checklist it's like 19 of them um some of the paints i have based on their descriptions um will work um, I don't know if the Tamiya paint call-out sheet is exact anyway. Um, so what I'm doing is, is I'm picking colors that are as close to what the Tamiya calls out and as, as close to what I can already have to what the ship actually was. So the only thing so far <laughs> that's 100% um, accurate is the bootstripe is flat black and the props are gold <laughs> but um, I think it looks fantastic um, I hope it 
continues that way and I hope you continue to follow I appreciate you watching and for all my new subscribers thank you for joining um, this is gonna be a fun build so uh, stay tuned and we will see you on the next update take care everybody